Hey, what's going on y'all? Today we're going to talk some about mushroom substrate. What is mushroom substrate? Um, substrate is just a fancy word for food. So the substrate is the material that the mushroom is consuming. So when we inoculate with, with whatever mushroom we want to grow, we're putting the mycelium into the substrate, into the food source that it is then going to consume. So our substrate is the food that the mycelium is going to consume and the mushrooms are going to fruit out of. Um, the mycelium becomes entwined with the substrate. It's kind of like when you make tea, right? The, the tea, you have your tea bag and you have your water. When you combine them, the tea and the water are one, right? And it's the same thing with the, with the fungus, with the mushrooms. When you inoculate and put the uh, mycelium into the substrate, the mycelium grows all throughout the substrate and they become one. Um, so the, the fungus can't be separated from the substrate itself. Um, but it does fruit, right? So it creates these mushrooms that come off of the substrate and then can be harvested. And you know, obviously you don't have to eat the substrate that the mushrooms grown in. Um, what are common substrates? So probably the most common to start out with is grain. So I've got some uh, grain right here. We've been using um, we've been using oats. Uh, so these are some some oats that we've got, and then we add to the grain some gypsum. So this is the gypsum we have. Uh, gypsum adds some micronutrients and some calcium uh, for the mycelium to grow effectively. Now. Those are the two substrates we use when we're not trying to fruit mushrooms. So when we're just growing out mycelium and want fast mycelial growth. The base for when we're trying to fruit mushrooms is sawdust. So here's our big pile of sawdust. We get, you know, 15 to 30 yards at a time. It's all hardwood sawdust. Um, this pile is pretty much all oak. So we get it, you know, the mill calls us, a local sawmill, when they're done um, milling hardwoods and tell us what it is and then just come drop it off. So this is our base, it's sawdust, it's relatively fine particles. You can see, um, you know, there's a little bit of, of difference in the particle sizes, but um, all of them are, are pretty small and, um, you know, are easily consumed by the mushroom mycelium. Now to the sawdust, there's two things that we typically add. One is uh, wheat bran, if we're growing shiitakes. So here's the uh, wheat bran that we use. And you can see this is a pretty fine uh, material. And you don't have to worry about, uh, I mean, for in the mushrooms, you don't have to worry about gluten allergies, all the gluten, as in wheat is broken down by the mushroom mycelium and that protein's no longer there. Um, the other substrate that we commonly use is soybean hulls. So for oysters and lion's mane and other species, we uh, mix in soybean hulls with the sawdust and that's the, the substrate that we're growing on. Um, and then this is our mixer right here. So we have a pack one yard mixer. Um, the ribbon mixer, so when you pick it up and look inside, has this uh, ribbon that when on, just turns the um, substrate around, mixes it all up, and also adds water at the same time. So for about three years, we were hand mixing our substrate several thousand pounds a week, and felt really good to get this uh, machine and uh, yeah, be able to easily mix substrate. So. Um, and then the last thing that we never really use because we're just growing specialty mushrooms, but is very common for the button mushrooms is compost, right? So here we've just got some uh, manure compost. And this is what the uh, garricus is primarily grown on is a mixture of straw and manure. So there you go, substrate. Hope you're growing some great mushrooms.